In this chapter of From the Players, For the Players video series, we bring you the findings of Barbados Casino Test. If you've been following us, you already know the concept. But if you've just joined us in this endeavor, let's bring you up to speed about what we do here. We play for real money to assess casinos depositing KYC and withdrawal policies, terms of service, as well as overall fairness and transparency. Then we present you with our unbiased findings in a fact-based manner. So yes, From the Players for the Players series is all about you. It's about bringing you valuable knowledge to help you make informed decisions when selecting online casinos. Before we dive into the nuts and bolts of Barbados Casino Test, let us present you with the highlights. Test of the day, dear commence. Date of registration, April the 1st, 2021. Deposit 170 euros made on April 2nd, 2021. KYC through IDIN completed on April 1st, within a few hours. Withdrawal of 51 euro requested on April 2nd, 2021. Cash out of 50 euro, 51 euros minus 1 euro fee, received on April 2nd, 2021. With this box ticked, let's check out the entire experience. Barbados Casino is a non-US friendly gaming hub and a part of Aspire Global Limited Casino Group. It operates under licenses issued by the Malta Gaming Authority, the UK Gambling Commission, and the Swedish Gambling Authority. The hub features a contemporary portfolio consisting of online slots, table games, and live casino powered by a couple of dozen software providers. They offer multi-language support, a welcome bonus, and loyalty program, and a mobile-friendly environment. The test registered on April 1st. He opted to complete the identity verification procedure right away using the conventional IDIN method. The casino utilizes the IDIN system for KYC purposes using the player's bank to verify their identity. IDIN is a part of IDEAL and it is therefore exclusive to the Netherlands. It is a quick, easy and safe identification method that can also be utilized by online casinos in the Netherlands to verify their customers. Since the majority of banks in the country have this solution integrated, all Dutch players with an account at one of these banks can be identified and age verified using their bank account info. Dirk Mans logged on to his online bank via the hub's link and two business entities then interfaced to exchange the tester's personal details. The verification was successfully completed on the same day, April the 1st. During the sign-up process, our tester made an error as he forgot to change his gender from default, set female to male, so he decided to contact chat support and attempt to fix the oversight. The agent promptly assisted him in solving this candid mishap, advising the tester to postpone any withdrawals until the casino staff changes his details. The next day, April the 2nd, Dirk Humans proceeded with the test. Out of several different banking options at his disposal, the tester opted for Neteller. He deposited 170 euros on April 2nd, and the sum was in his casino account in just a few minutes. The casino followed up with an instant deposit confirmation email. However, the tester left the special bonus offer box checked during the registration procedure, and as a result, he was credited with the casino's welcome bonus upon depositing. Since Dirk Mans wanted to play with straight cash only, he contacted chat support one more time to reverse the bonus. It took the chat agent 10 minutes to remove the welcome bonus and the tester was ready for the gameplay segment. The recommend started with online slots and spun a couple of reels in Nathan's Hell's Kitchen and Skywind's Rainbows. Next, he switched to Live Casino and placed several bets in Nightclub Roulette by Authentic Gaming. Then he returned to one Arm Bandits and tested his luck with Skywind's Queen of Wands and Four Femme Fatale, concluding his session with Stake Logic's Gods of Secrecy and Play It Goes Book of Dead. Upon such diverse gameplay, the tester went on to evaluate the Cash Out segment. Using Nettler to withdraw his money, Dirk Mans requested a withdrawal of 51 euros on April 2nd. The transaction was charged a 1 euro fee and the hub confirmed the request with an instant email. Some 48 minutes later, our tester received the 50 euro cash out to his Nutella account. 
This test in Barbados Casino was fairly straightforward as the Recommends was able to complete all stages of the test without any obstacles on the part of the hub and he received his cash out in less than an hour. Have you played at Barbados Casino? Show your thoughts in the comments below so that others may benefit from your experience. We hope you'll find this episode helpful in your quest for the proper online gambling venue. As far as upcoming episodes of From the Players, For the Players video series go, stay tuned. LCBs testers already probe other online hubs in our relentless pursuit to raise awareness on responsible gambling practices, bringing more value to the player through first-hand objective matter-of-fact reporting. Meanwhile, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Twitch. See you in the next episode, until then, be safe and play responsibly.